true human goodness, in all its purity and freedom, can come to the fore only when its recipient has no power. Love is the longing for the half of ourselves we have lost. O oh lovers! Be careful in those dangerous first days. Once you've brought breakfast in bed you'll have to bring it forever, unless you want to be accused of lovelessness and betrayal. A person who longs to leave the place where he lives, is an unhappy person. Dogs are our link to paradise. They don't know evil or jealousy or discontent. The stupidity of people comes from having an answer for everything. The wisdom of the novel comes from having a question for everything. Culture is perishing in overproduction, in an avalanche of words, in the madness of quantity. Those who consider the devil to be a partisan of evil, and angels to be warriors for good, Except the demagogy of the angels. Things are clearly more complicated. Without realizing it, the individual composes his life according to the laws of beauty, even in times of greatest distress. People are going deaf because music is played louder and louder, but because they're going deaf, it has to be played louder still. Listening to a news broadcast is like smoking a cigarette, and crushing the butt in the ashtray. When the heart speaks, the mind finds it indecent to object. The worth of a human being lies in the ability to extend oneself, to go outside oneself, to exist in and for other people. Happiness is the longing for repetition. Ambition is a poor excuse, for not having sense enough to be lazy. To be a writer does not mean to preach a truth, it means to discover a truth. A worker may be the hammer's master, but the hammer still prevails. A tool knows exactly how it is meant to be handled, while the user of the tool can only have an approximate idea. The sound of laughter, is like the vaulted dome of a temple of happiness. But when the strong were too weak to hurt the weak, the weak had to be strong enough to leave. He took over anger to intimidate subordinates, and in time anger took over him.
two people in love, alone, isolated from the world, that's beautiful. The brain appears to possess a special area which we might call poetic memory, and which records everything that charms or touches us, that makes our lives beautiful. Love begins with a metaphor. Which is to say, love begins at the point when a woman enters her first word into her poetic memory. The heaviest of burdens crushes us, we sink beneath it, it pins us to the ground. But in love poetry of every age, the woman longs to be weighed down by the man's body. The heaviest of burdens is therefore, simultaneously an image of life's most intense fulfillment. Making love with a woman and sleeping with a woman are two separate passions, not merely different but opposite. Love does not make itself felt in the desire for copulation, a desire that extends to an infinite number of women. But in the desire for shared sleep, a desire limited to one woman. People are always shouting they want to create a better future. It's not true. The future is an apathetic void of no interest to anyone. The past is full of life, eager to irritate us, provoke and insult us, tempt us to destroy or repaint it. The only reason people want to be masters of the future, is to change the past. The goals we pursue are always veiled. A girl who longs for marriage, longs for something she knows nothing about. The boy who hankers after fame, has no idea what fame is. The thing that gives our every move its meaning, is always totally unknown to us. Love is by definition an unmerited gift. Being loved without meriting it is the very proof of real love. If a woman tells me, I love you because you're intelligent, because you're decent, because you buy me gifts, because you don't chase women, because you do the dishes, then I'm disappointed, such love seems a rather self-interested business. How much finer it is to hear, I'm crazy about you even though you're neither intelligent nor decent, even though you're a liar, an egotist, a bastard, 